Straightallday.com. What's going on, y'all? Dre Baldwin. What I'm doing here is a off the court basketball workout. It's actually happening on the court. But as you can see, that's uh, Maria, a trainer, training me right here. You've seen her work with me before. She is the author of the Position of Power Workout, 10 week strength training program, and the 15 week ultimate athlete. And I'm starting off here with some. What we'll call these jump thrusts where I go down into a plank position. I'm jumping up, catching that ball. Just a little bit of a reaction time, warm-up type exercise. She's going to be here. She's going to voice over some of this too and explain to you what's happening in this workout. This is a drill that works on core as well as hand-eye coordination. So as you can see, Dre's in a plank position. He's keeping his perfect spine alignment. And he taps the ball, trying to reach for it. So you can't really see how much he's reaching, but... The ball is placed really far away so that he actually has to reach really long to tap the ball and he can add speed with the hand. It's a little hip twist drill I'm doing here. I hate doing these, but it helps me in the long run. Maria's going to explain to you a little bit what I'm doing and why. So as you can see, Jay's doing a plyometric lunge drop, rotating through his hips, and he's hitting at the point and sprinting into the next point. It's really important to work on power as well as speed. So right now you can see Dre is working on his hips rotating in a plyometric movement. He hits the spot and he sprints into the other direction to work on that takeoff speed. And once I get to the end of each section, you see I'm going to go right into a speed dribble, only up through the foul line, only about 15, 15 feet there, just working on coming out of the power move and adding the speed into it. So what I'm doing here is a quick little one-two step. I'm going to step over the line with two feet, then I'm going to step right back. So it's one-two, one-two, and I'm going down into a plank position, which we call a jump thrust, or you might know them as burpees. So working on the core strength and the upper body power, at the same time working on my foot quickness and agility. What I'm doing here is something you might have seen in my ball handling playlist before, which you also catch on the ball handling DVD, where I'm going to go into, I'm going to stand on one foot, and I'm going to dribble the basketball at the same time while I'm leaning over, trying to keep my core tight and raise that back leg as far high as possible. So I get to work on the handle and the core at the same time. Marie's going to tell you a little bit about why she had me do a drill like this and how it's beneficial to your basketball game. Well, I have him standing on one foot and changing the angle of where he's dribbling so that he can challenge the knee, strengthen the ankle, use the core to balance. And while he's doing the different dribbling drill, his body's constantly working on strength, hand-eye coordination, balance, core, everything at the same time to really produce the best out of this drill. And if you want to work on your handle some more, you know you can check out that ball handling DVD. The reel is back. Also, the ball handling bundle which comes with the crossover program and the simple to advanced ball handling program. All right, this section here, I'm just putting the ball down. I'm going to work on some. These are plank jumps. So I'm starting in a plank position in the middle there, and I'm jumping up to the right and up to the left. My goal, as Maria was uh, instructing me while I was doing this, you can't hear her talking is to try to get my feet up to the same line as where my hands were. So I want to almost have my body completely sideways. So it's working on that oblique power and core power at the same time. You'll know that all the strength movements of the body originate from the core. It's not all the way out in the biceps or in the calf muscles. It comes from the middle of the body. So right now, Dre's working on his balance, his core, and his hand speed. As he, get, he goes through this, he makes sure that his leg is lifted as high as possible. I was trying to keep his body almost parallel to the floor while he did this drill. And as he went through this, I tried to just change the speed of his dribble and the angle of where he was going so that he could really challenge the body in every single angle because you never know where you're going to have to take the ball and pass it, dribble it. And whatnot. So you've got to be prepared in every single angle possible. As you know, being an athlete, you've got to be coordinated and 
Dre right now is working on his hand-foot coordination while working on lateral drills with single leg hops. As he does this, he has to try to really use the body in coordination so that the body can move smoothly through the movement and, um, while he's dribbling the ball. Well, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to keep my rhythm with the hopping and the dribbling at the same time. And it's hard. It's harder to do the less that you are coordinated between the bounce and the hop. So you see my bouncing on my foot and the hop, the bouncing of the ball rather, and the hop on my foot weren't in sync. It kind of messed me up. So I'm trying to keep it in sync. You see me here doing some side to side jumps, working on first of all the hip power and also you see me do jumps like that in the crossover drill. So that's a good drill to work on that lateral movement when you're trying to work on that crossover. Here what I'm doing is some single leg squats. So you see me, I'm getting low dropping my hips, trying to keep my knee behind my toes. That keeps me from putting too much stress on my knee. I'm dribbling the ball. You see I'm getting low, dropping my hips, dropping my chest. At the same time, doing these single leg squats on one leg. So working on that balance, working on that core power, and strengthening the muscles in the upper leg, which is the hamstring, the glutes, and the quads, all at the same time. I did it on the left leg. Now I'm doing it here on the right leg. Single leg. You can see how I'm getting lower there, trying to maintain my dribble. I'm going down and touching the floor. And of course, you want to keep your eyes up anytime you do anything involving dribbling the basketball because in the game, you got to keep your eyes up, see what a defender is doing, see what your teammates are doing. Maybe you go for a shot. Maybe you go in for a drive. Maybe you need to make a pass. So keep your eyes up as much as you possibly can. I know it's hard when you're working on something new, but that's the challenge. You also want to make sure that when you do squat down, you keep your back really flat so that your core stays tight and you don't round your back. All right, so we're going into the hops again. This time I'm doing it on the other leg. Notice how on my handle, I'm trying to keep the bounce of the ball in sync with the bounce of my foot. And whenever they get out of sync, you see how I'm kind of losing the ball. So you want to, I want to try to keep those in sync as much as possible. It's a challenge because it's not something that I'm used to doing, obviously. And then what, the last thing I'm going to do is go into those side-to-side -side hops, which is, like I said, when you're working on the crossover move, that's the big thing. You're taking a wide step out to the side, and you're faking in that direction, but you got to take a wide enough step that you can fake that defender to lean that way, and then you explode going in the other direction, which is exactly what you're doing in a drill like this. So you see this how this could be similar to a crossover move, even though I'm not exactly working on a crossover here. You see how that wide step to the outside, but then you're exploding in the other direction. It's the exact same type of movement that I'm working on right here. This drill is really important because I'm trying to get Dre to hit two different spots in a lateral motion as he crosses the leg over. I wanted him to hit these points on the line so that he can hit it and then back up, back to a certain point, almost like the letter V. But as you can see, he's kind of having little coordination uh, difficulty because you got to get the rhythm with the foot and with the ball. Here doing a similar drill to what I was doing before with the single leg. This time I'm doing it on two feet. And again, the most important part, part for me is this is a brand new drill for me. This is not something that I do all the time. This is my first time doing it the way that you're watching it. Just try to get the rhythm of the bounce of the ball with the bounce of my feet. Once I got that down, it was easy. But trying to do two different things is like patting your head and rubbing your stomach. It don't work. So as you can see, he's staying really light on his feet, and that's really important because his, his knees have a little bit of give, and then he's able to get the coordination with the hands and the feet at the same time. Here I'm doing that lateral crossover drill like I was doing before, and instead of putting the emphasis, like if you watch my crossover video, I put the emphasis on the actual dribble or the crossover. Here I'm putting the emphasis on the, on the actual physical movement, and the dribble just happens to be a part of it. And Maria's going to tell you a little bit about how and why we're doing it. So he's just working on a lot of lateral speed. I tried to get him to go as wide as he could while keeping the rhythm again with the hand and the feet. He moved up the court and he moved back down the court. And it's very important because his eyes, I wanted his eyes and his chest to stay up at the entire time. Just like the crossover in basketball, you want to get as wide as possible and you got to keep the rhythm, the dribble and the feet at the same time. Now the last thing that I'm doing here, this was the end of the workout when they gas out kind of is what I, what I like to say. Just run out of gas, push yourself at the end. I'm doing a half court to baseline dribbling. So I'm just going to sprint up from there to there. This is about a 70, 80% sprint. I think I did this for about 20 seconds a piece. After each 20 second set, 
Maria would tell me to stop and I would go straight down and hold into a plank position for about 10 seconds and then I would go right back to running again after holding the plank. I think we did this for about two minutes. Yeah, and as he did this, I, he, it's very easy to get tired, so I had to choose, keep. She had to keep me going, keep me moving, keep me from stopping, and keep me having my heart rate up. Like I said, at the end of the workout, you want to do something to push yourself out, push the last bit of energy out that you got left. As, as I said before, this is about a 70 to 80% sprint. Using the handle at the same time, if you want to court, of course, add in a ball handle or shooting or whatever it is you want to work on in your game while you're doing a physical drill so you can kill two birds with one stone, kind of. And dropping down into this plank position gives him not even a, a rest. It's more of an active rest so that he keeps his core in tight. He gets it just a chance to breathe, and then he gets back up and starts sprinting again. So if you can do an active rest, which means doing some type of activity during a period that you're coming down from that high, high intensity activity in a game when you get to actually sit down or stand on a foul shot or a timeout is easy because you're going down into doing actually nothing when in your workout you're used to doing something active during the break periods. So that's the entire workout. Hopefully that gave y'all some insight on the kind of stuff I'm working on and Maria's input helped y'all too. Make sure you check out that Ultimate Athlete Hoop Handbook program. It's 15 weeks focusing on every aspect of off the court training for a basketball player coming from my own workouts. Y'all see me, y'all know what I do. Hit that like button to like this video. Make sure you're subscribed to catch all the new stuff. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com.